Meghan Markle's distinct personality invokes amusement, despite the cruel comparison being made. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Join us for another enchanting journey into the world of royalty. Now, let's get to the video. Therefore, I stumbled upon a completely different subject being debated, and this analogy was so funny that it left me uncontrollably laughing. Currently, the topic of discussion revolves around the unique qualities that set Meghan Markle apart from others. Of course, the response from the royal commentator Mr. made me burst into uncontrollable laughter. Benjamin that he itemized her unique characteristics and declared that they hold a measurable value. No one else can come close to being as exceptional as she is. Initially, she displays chameleon-like adaptability. She has the ability to alter her skin tone quickly and effortlessly. She expressed to a gathering of African children that she shares the same racial background as them. However, in her earlier years of pursuing acting opportunities, she made it clear to film producers that she identified as a white individual. She possesses the ability to transform high-priced designer attire into affordable pieces that resemble those found on discount racks at Walmart. Additionally, she possesses an incredibly vibrant imagination. In the midst of rush hour traffic, she found herself navigating the crowded streets of New York City, moving at a mere 15 miles per hour. It was an experience she could not help but share, drawing a parallel to the relentless pursuit Princess Diana faced from the paparazzi. We experienced a near disastrous car chase that was incredibly terrifying. She possesses an unusually high degree of entitlement. In her conversation with Princess and, she emphasized that her new title as Duchess puts them all on equal footing within the family. Her immense self-importance, coupled with her lack of skill and charm, is striking. Currently, there is news that she achieved considerable success at Soho House. The markets were well aware of whom to direct her towards. In addition to her ability to conveniently forget things, she also possessed the talent of selectively tuning out certain sounds. Upon reviewing the findings of the investigation on the palace staff bullying inquiry, the Queen expressed her genuine astonishment. She promptly informed her courtiers that this form of bullying was appalling and insisted that the public should be shielded from these distressing results. Later on, Meghan expressed her satisfaction with the Queen's acknowledgement and affirmation that no bullying had occurred. We must not overlook Meghan's exceptional intelligence. She possesses exceptional knowledge in all fields, particularly current affairs, and effortlessly embraces any emerging trend that crosses her path. Furthermore, her vision is extraordinary. She has a keen eye for spotting a press cameraman from a long distance. No matter the situation, a false smile is always plastered on his face, unfaltering and unchanging. Megan stands out from the rest as an exceptional magician. With her incredible cunning, she can create the illusion of pregnancy and later deliver her offspring discreetly, presenting two elusive children that remain unseen by others. Currently, she has two children who are next in line for the throne, yet none of the royal family has had the opportunity to meet either child. This can only be described as the ultimate magic illusion. Meghan possesses a remarkable ability to skillfully portray Harry as foolish. She takes advantage of any chance that comes her way. She not only enjoys joining popular trends, but she also has a tendency to embrace any and all opportunities available to her while sailing on a yacht. The moment she enthusiastically shared her experience of relieving herself in front of Harry, he became captivated by her. Additionally, there is additional information worth mentioning. Megan possesses a unique fashion sense that sets her apart from everyone else. Or, to be more precise, the absence of it. She dresses in a uniquely tacky way like no one else. Megan's love for courthouses is unmatched by anyone else. No one else will continuously contact the media day and night just to have their picture captured. 
These invisible children are not believed to exist by anyone else. Megan has a unique talent for articulating incomprehensible word combinations like no one else. She has a remarkable talent for telling an abundant amount of lies, unmatched by anyone else. Certainly, she possesses a distinct and remarkable quality without a doubt. Despite Harry's assertion that Megan is an orphan who follows a vegan diet, the reality is quite different as she consumes meat and has a family. We discovered that despite being an only child, she actually has siblings. Have you ever encountered such a phenomenon? The Archbishop of Canterbury allegedly conducted a marriage ceremony in the garden, but surprisingly, it never actually occurred. Despite claiming not to know anything about the royal family or Harry, it was evident that she had a deep fascination with them. She confidently asserted that she would casually contact the Queen for a conversation whenever she pleased, although this account seemed implausible. She managed to avoid punishment for perjuring in a British court due to her unreliable memory. She possesses an abundance of closets packed with clothing that does not fit well. She rarely receives an invitation to Hollywood parties, unless WME compels one of their clients to include her. Due to the complete hatred they harbor for her, she has never extended an invitation to any royal family occasions. Additionally, an intriguing quality of this woman is her apparent lack of conscience. Do any of you genuinely think that Harry and Meghan are justified in reconsidering their departure and resuming certain royal responsibilities? I don't that I firmly believe that individuals have the right to alter their opinions. However, it is crucial to acknowledge and bear the repercussions of our choices. It is truly incredible to imagine that they would resume their responsibilities as royalty. I remain skeptical about the possibility of it occurring. The initial issue revolves around the individuals residing in Britain and the Commonwealth. The chances of their acceptance for both of them are absolutely zero. I highly doubt that and or William would welcome their return. Regarding King Charles and Queen Camilla, the king may be open to their return, but Queen Camilla is unlikely to agree. Additionally, what would be the motivation for them to come back? Based on their statements following Megxit, it appears that both of them were unhappy while living in the UK. I had an early impression that Meghan Markle had no intention of staying in the UK. Based on our observations and the information we have gathered, it appears that her desire was to resume her acting career and regain the prestige and wealth associated with her Duchess title. Regrettably, the focus is not on their ability to alter their perspectives. Instead, what truly stood out was the audacity displayed by these two individuals as they discussed their motivations for withdrawing. When Harry decided to leave his job, he displayed a lack of professionalism. As he was departing, he essentially showed his boss disrespect using a gesture. Later, he appeared in a public forum to hurl insults and belittle his ex-employer and the environment where he used to work. Harry and Meghan spread numerous false statements about their previous employer and workplace, which were quickly and convincingly debunked. There is speculation that Harry might reconsider his previous job due to financial difficulties and possibly seek reinstatement. Do you really think any other employer or organization would give someone who behaved like that a second chance? In the Oprah Winfrey interview, a total of 17 falsehoods were spoken, which have since been definitively debunked. Meghan's reputation as a dishonest individual is widely acknowledged, making her unsuitable for her role as a representative of the British monarchy. Consider the actions she took while in Australia. In a fit of rage, she directed her voice towards the spouse of the Australian governor, demanding, Are you familiar with my identity? The reason for her anger stemmed from her expectation for everyone in the household to remain indoors. She had no desire to remain confined to one section. The royal family will not tolerate such behavior. Both individuals have proceeded to discuss their personal issues within the royal household. And Meghan appeared to feel that she was not regarded as the dominant figure. She did not receive royal treatment. Meghan had the desire for equal recognition as Catherine, but achieving that was an unrealistic expectation. Meghan chose not to wed the future king. She wedded the second choice. 
Meghan Markle will not hold the title of Queen Consort, unlike Catherine. Catherine has dedicated extensive time to mastering every rule, protocol, etiquette, and intricacies of royal behavior. However, due to her refusal to heed advice, this inexperienced yacht worker was unable to acquire any new knowledge. One of the obstacles she faced while pursuing a career in Hollywood was this. If you struggle to adhere to basic instructions, you will likely experience failure in various aspects of life. None of her family members were invited to the wedding. She harbored concerns regarding the potentially revealing truth they might disclose to the royal family. Instead, she extended invitations to numerous Hollywood celebrities whom she had never even acquainted with. Now, those Hollywood celebrities have distanced themselves completely from her. In fact, the initiation of it all came from the Obamas. They understood her true nature and made the decision not to extend an invitation to her for Mr. S. event. The Celebration of Obama's Birth If the sugars removed their optimistic view, they would realize that this woman, who is manipulative and unknown, is pretending to be someone else. There is no chance of that ever occurring. Meghan has gone too far. She possesses narcissistic traits. She is unable to alter her behavior. However, another specialist holds a contrasting perspective on the matter. It is asserted that Harry has chosen to step back from his responsibilities as a member of the royal family. Meghan's primary responsibilities pertain to her royal duties, which she fulfilled alongside Harry as his companion during his professional endeavors. I cannot attest to the situation in other countries, but in the UK, individuals who resign from a job are required to undergo the reapplication process if they wish to return to the same company. The obligations bestowed upon individuals in Britain, known as royal duties, involve fulfilling the desires of the monarch during their performance. In essence, the individual fulfilling the royal responsibility is acting as a substitute for the ruler. It is vital for them to behave appropriately and display respect towards both the individuals they will meet and the monarch they are representing. The responsibility of allowing Harry to return as a working royal or not lies in the hands of the monarch. At present, I highly doubt that either King Charles or Prince William will be inclined to give their consent to that. There is a notable distinction if Harry were to engage in charity work upon returning to the UK as it would not bear the monarch's endorsement. Based on previous interactions, Harry would anticipate being addressed by his complete formal title. In all fairness, Having a prince as the main attraction of a charitable event would significantly increase its visibility and ensure extensive media coverage. However, let's consider the events that have transpired previously. Would the charity receive media attention, or would it be overshadowed by the coverage of Harry's antics? The British are accustomed to the tasks carried out by the active members of the royal family, and they possess extensive knowledge regarding the protocols associated with these responsibilities. Harry needs to put in a significant amount of effort in order to regain public support. Ultimately, while they are free to alter their decisions, regaining their previous royal responsibilities is beyond their jurisdiction. The sole authority to grant it lies with the monarch. In the United Kingdom, individuals are well aware of the distinction between a member of the royal family acting as a representative of the monarch at an event, versus the presence of a royal attending a function in their own capacity. Naturally, Harry may engage in charitable events aligned with his philanthropic pursuits, however, it is important to note that he will no longer serve as a representative of the monarchy. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day and stay tuned for upcoming videos.